Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to run C++ program in your favorite Visual Studio Code editor. So let's begin. Now to run C++ program in your favorite Visual Studio Code editor, you need to first download two software. One is MinGW compiler and another is Visual Studio Code itself. So for that you need to just simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar you need to just simply type MinGW distro then enter and then you'll be seeing this min gw distro is basically our first search result so you just simply click on this min gw distro and this will you know going to redirect you to this official site of min gw distro in here if you just scroll down a bit under this download section you'll be getting this two link one is min gw 17.1 exe and another is min gw 17.1 without git.exe so what I'll be suggesting you is to download this smaller file that is this 14 uh, that is this 45.1 MB file. So what I'll be suggesting you is to download this just 45.1 MB file that is this MinGW 70.1 without git file because we don't need git now. So just you know simply click on this link and this is you know, going to start downloading our MinGW 17.1 git. Since I have already downloaded it I just you know simply cancel it. So, in this way, you can easily download our MinGW 17.1. I'll be showing you how to install, but before that, we need another software called Visual Studio Code itself. So, for that, it will just simply type Visual Studio Code, then enter. And then, you'll be seeing this official site of code.visualstudio.com link has been, you know, rightly came in our search result. So, just, so just simply click on Visual Studio Code. And this will you know, going to redirect you to this official site of Visual Studio Code. In here, you'll be getting this button for download for Windows. So if you, if you just simply click on that, uh, it will you know, going to start downloading our Visual Studio Code. Since I have already downloaded it, I just simply cancel it, right? I'll be also putting both these links in the description. So you don't need to worry about the link and all, right? So you have rightly downloaded, just simply minimize our browser. And if I just simply go to my download directory, you can clearly see we have these two software. One is MinGW installer and another is this Visual Studio code itself. So we are basically going to first show you how to install MinGW. So for that, you need to just simply double click on it and you'll be getting this window in here you need to just simply click on this three dot yeah so just simply click on that and then scroll down a bit and you'll be getting this local disk c so just simply click on that then okay and then if you just simply click on extract this will you know going to start extracting our min gw itself so this will you know going to take a couple of minutes so what i will be doing is i'll be coming back after installing min gw compiler yeah so we'll come back and now as you can see our MinGW 17.1 has been you know, rightly extracted. So if you just simply go to our C drive, you'll be getting this MinGW folder over here. So just simply go inside that folder and here all files are extracted. So now you need to just simply go inside this bin folder and then you need to just simply click on this address bar. Right. And now you need to just simply right click on it and copy. So we are basically going to copy this file location of our bin folder right and then you need to just simply click on the search icon and here you need to just simply type environ then enter and you'll be getting this edit system environment variables over here here you need to just simply click on this environment variables and then you need to just simply click on path then edit then new then right click on it and paste so just simply paste this mingw slash bin folder location over here then just simply click on ok then again ok then again ok and now if you just simply click on this you know command prompt and then if you just simply type gcc space dash dash version then enter you can clearly see our gcc version 9.2.0 has been you know rightly installed over here right so if you see this similar type of message then all this basically mean is our mingw compiler has been rightly installed right so now just seems you know simply cancel it and now it's time to basically install our visual studio code if you have previously installed visual studio code then you can just simply skip this step 
I'm going to you know show you for other users who haven't installed Visual Studio Code. So right. So if you just simply double click on it, we'll be getting this license window. So let us first minimize our download directory, and this is basically the license and all. So you can just simply uh, accept this license agreement and then just simply click on next. And this is going to be our installation destinations. So keep everything as a default. Then just simply click on next. Then again next. And now it's asking whether you like to create a desktop icon. That's a very important step. I'd like to check that. And it's also asking whether you want to add to path. That's a very important step, I would say. Do check that. If you, it, it's, you know, it generally comes checked by default. So for some reason, if it is not checked, then do check that. Add to path. That's a very important step. So do check that and then just simply click on next. And now it's saying that it's ready to be installed. So just simply click on install. And this is going to start installing our Visual Studio code. And you can clearly see it has you know rightly started our installing Visual Studio Code. So this will you know going to take a couple of minutes. So what I will be doing is I'll be coming back after installing Visual Studio Code. Yeah. So we'll come back. And now as you can clearly see our Visual Studio Code has been you know rightly installed. So it has you know also checked this launch Visual Studio Code. So just simply click on finish. So this will you know going to launch our Visual Studio Code. You can clearly see it is you know currently launching our visual studio code so our visual studio code has been rightly launched over here right in here you need to just simply click on file then open folder and this is you know, going to open this window in here you need to just simply click on documents then new folder so here we are basically going to write a simple c++ program so for that let us first create a c++ directory first then just you know simply click on select folder and you can clearly see it has you know rightly uh, selected the c++ folder before that you need to just you know simply check this and just simply click on yes i trust the authors right this is just a, sec a security mechanism it has you know created that's not a big deal so just simply check that and you can clearly see the cpp has been right click folder has been you know right click created over here now it's time to install one plugin that's a very important plugin I would say so for that you need to just simply click on this extension button and you'll be getting this you know window over here basically here in the search extension in marketplace you need to just simply type c slash c p p and you'll be getting this c slash c p c plus plus as a first search result so you just simply simply click on that and you'll be getting this extension over here telling that it is you know developed by microsoft itself so just simply click on install to basically start installing our c c plus plus extension over here and it has you know rightly started installing and it has rightly installed so for that you need to have an active internet connection so it will you know going to fetch all data and it will you know going to install our plugin so it has rightly installed now go back to our explorer so here we have this cpp folder selected right so just simply click on this icon that is basically going to create a new file so let's give a file name as prob.cpp right why cpp because we are going to write a c++ program so cpp right so our prob.cpp file has been you know, created over here in here we are going to write a simple c++ program so for that just you know simply type hash include then io stream yeah and then using namespace std all right and then we are going to create our main method so main and inside this main method we are going to simply print hello world so see out hello world and we need to also end with our end yeah then just simply end with a semicolon and then just simply return as zero since we are returning something right this int main but here if you see we have one error so it is showing hash include errors detected so just you know simply click on quick fix 
and then just simply click on edit include path setting and this will you know op going to open our C C++ configurations so in here if you just scroll down a bit and you'll be getting this compiler path over here here you need to just simply click on this drop down then just simply click on G++ right and then just you know simply if you just simply go to our previous tab you can clearly see this error is now gone right so just simply go to file then save and now you need to just you know simply go to terminal then just simply click on run build task yeah and then you'll be getting these options in here you need to just sim simply click on this G++ so just you know simply click on that and you can clearly see it has you know rightly started building our project so it has you know rightly finished and here you'll be seeing this prog.exe file is also generated so all this basically mean is our program has been you know, rightly executed with no error so it is now calling to telling that press any key to close so just you know simply press any key in our keyboard and it will you know going to close and now you need to just again simply click on terminal then new terminal so here if you just simply type dot slash then your executable file name that is prog right so just simply type prog then enter and you can clearly see our hello world has been directly you know, shown in our console right so in this way you can easily write any c++ program in our visual studio code and you can easily run them so i have actually shown you how to install mingw compiler and then i have also shown you how to install visual studio code and then i have shown you how we can run and execute a simple c++ program in visual studio code itself right so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you